Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and this is Sonali from Excess at Home and today I'm sharing with you what in terms of syllabus I'm doing at home with Devan. So now the third subject that I'm going to take is social studies and science all together. Uh, these two, social studies and science. So in science, we were doing living and non-living. We did organism, we did properties of an object. So that, uh, those are the things that came from school. Okay, so uh, we did our homework on that, we did study on that, but what did I do at home? So I extended all the stuff in terms of more activities, more experiments with Vivan, and uh, uh, we saw a couple of videos on it. There was a video channel called uh, Crash Course. I'm going to link up that too in the description box below if your child uh, would be interested in seeing uh, such videos. Uh, I think they're very, very helpful. They make the child very curious. So uh, I'm going to tell you the name again. It's called Crash Course. It's a channel on YouTube. It's it's pretty nice for kids. It is very intense. Let me just give you a heads up uh, because there's a lot of talking, a lot of big words, text, uh, not very, very kiddie friendly, but it's still worth checking. Okay, so what else are we doing in science at home? In science, I have made a program for Vivan wherein he's trying to use a science experiment book that we have in the house. And he has a couple of them. So he's picking up and he's trying to do that. Uh, he's trying and building more stuff. Okay. So it, he is using nuts and bolts in in building uh, stuff. He's using batteries to connect how he's doing. Uh, he's making robots. So that's part of science, which is only practical life learning. So I'm not giving more theoretical um, in science. I mean, I'm not doing a lot of paper pen writing in science. No, we are not doing that. We are doing a lot of um, basic um, I mean, in terms of just practical skills, then we're doing a lot of cooking in the house because he is uh, measuring all the ingredients and then he's he's pouring and he's making stuff. Uh, then we are doing a lot of uh, live uh, science experiments with whatever stuff we have. I don't have a lot of stuff in the house right now because I didn't do the grocery just at the right time. And uh, but whatever we have in the house, we're doing those experiments. So the kids do not need to always go right back into paper and pencil and make it more boring. But it's just fun. And maybe you can uh, you can ask any of the family members at this time who can uh, help the kids uh, with experiments. If you are busy or if you're tied up in doing something else, you can always ask another person in the house. So like for me, I generally ask my husband to take over when it comes to science because there has to be something that Vivan associates with in doing with daddy too not just playing not just like making the house dirty of course not uh, they need to do something constructive too i i know i mean it's it's crazy because these two are uh, mm, i see the beyblades all over the house i am just like taking their name constantly like vivan da daddy vivan 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 daddy please can you tidy up can you tidy up so whenever there is more homework for science i'm very happy because it's my husband's responsibility to do science with him. But in, in terms of all open projects, I make sure that I have in my science book. Uh, so once I did my math, English, I wrote for science, all the games that I had and all the things that you associate with science, which so is cooking, building, creating, uh, observing. So we did a little clouds by hurricanes. Uh, if you're on my Instagram or YouTube or my Facebook, you would have seen the video. If you're not, guys, you can always check out because we're always doing a lot of stuff. I am uh, putting the link down below for my Facebook and my Instagram page where we keep sharing throughout the day what we are doing. We did a very cute project called Little Clouds Turn Into Hurricanes. And it was a beautiful science project. So we read the book for a whole week and we kept reading back and forth. So I gave Vivan to read the book and I was reading in and out with him. And then on the last day, what we did, we sat and page by page, we constructed into a project. Now for social studies. Social studies, we, uh, the school does actually a uh, in-depth job here because they discuss a lot of things within US. They discuss landmarks. They discuss the songs. Mm. They discuss, uh, the influential people uh, in US and what do I do here so we did I knew that and I think I've spoken about this earlier in the another video too so what I did was I uh, made sure that I am doing US as a uh, as a country first and then North America as a continent always remember guys you have to connect uh, what you're doing with the school too because it should not disconnect for the child uh, 
some topics yes you might okay because if your child is like doing way too advanced you can always like go ahead and do something else but i always try and go things in parallel because i know somewhere they're gonna interlink and he's gonna make a connection and uh, then it'll be easy for him to relate that to this and this to that so when Vivan was doing all this in kindergarten, we started in pre-K, the social studies unit, and we're still going on. I'm still, we are still explore, exploring the United States. So if you are in whatever part of your country, wherever, with whichever continent, wherever you are, you can always take your own country or the continent, and then you can start with the states, the capital, the famous landmarks, and uh, what, are the, what are the states famous for? Um, and uh, I, sorry, I forgot one point. So in English, uh, I am doing comprehension with Vivan, which includes the states. So I have mixed social studies element in English where uh, we studied about Alaska. So I gave him a small short paragraph on Alaska with five important points and uh, which he had to underline and then he had to write answers. So it was like comprehension. Uh, it was just a small paragraph and then he had to comprehend all the answers there. So we mixed two things together so like sometimes you're not doing both the subjects but like by doing just one subject we did that if you want to know more about it just leave a comment below i can share a picture or i can do uh, a short video on how i have i'm doing that and how i'm mixing the two two subjects okay moving forward mm, we are doing north america uh, and south america countries at the moment uh, South America has 12 countries, North America has 23 countries. So we did that as independent countries, we just did that. And then we are checking because a lot of fruit comes from Guatemala here, from Mexico here, uh, from St. Lucia. A lot of woven stuff, a lot of ceramic stuff is made out of different places within North America and South America. So I've told Vivan to keep an eye and see, just twist and see the sticker, like where is this made from? So that you know what stuff is coming from where, and I think it's just important where you're staying. It just makes you aware of your surroundings and it just opens up your mind. I mean, that's something that my dad says all the time that give as much as you can to the child to understand. So guys, by now we have maths. Whatever you are doing, practice more in maths. Practice, practice, practice for every single topic that you're doing. And if you do not know the topics that your child is doing, uh, message me and tell me your grade number. I'm going to give you the topic list. Okay, then comes to English. Uh, Writing and spellings are very, very important. You have to see where your child is lacking and then we need to practice that more. Uh, then came science. Science, what we are following, what the school is doing, but personally, we are just doing uh, experiments, more observation, more cooking, where the science is involved. Social studies, the school is doing uh, United States, so we are doing US in terms of states. We are, of course, revising it. Uh, we need some drawings of Liberty Bell too. I don't know if you guys have seen it on Instagram, on our Facebook page. We did post that and we did a small mid video on uh, Statue of Liberty. Okay, so the last one is now Spanish and Hindi. Hindi have been not been very, very successful. Uh, I keep having a lot of hurdles in Hindi with Vivan. Uh, it's sometimes lack of time. It is, it's not an excuse. Um, he's writing, but I think he's just not motivated enough to, to, to maybe write more in Hindi. So we have done our first bit, but we're trying to stretch it more. And I wish we could do better in Hindi for sure. I think I just have to be better with Hindi. Uh, maybe I have to look for more, um, I have to look for more ways to encourage him to do more. We are writing, um, uh, maybe two letter three letter words in Hindi, but not that much. Uh, however, in Spanish, because the school does Spanish and it's a new language that he's learning here. So he's very excited about the language, of course. And we did our body parts, colors. We're making short sentences here. What, are, what am I doing in it? Uh, I'm doing a lot of, I'm making a lot of activities for him. I'm making anchor charts for him to study. We watch some videos together. And a lot of time in, uh, when I take a Uber, uh, if the guy is talking to me in Spanish and if I'm not understanding, I give it to Vivan and I try and uh, tell him to help me out, so which he feels very, very happy. And I keep taking his test because I try and uh, read a lot of Spanish words when I have to teach him. So it's brushing up my skills too. And uh, I, I make a lot of uh, Spanish activities for him in terms of words, alphabets, colors, animals and to make correct sentences uh, then we i make him hear songs and then he has to repeat the songs too 
he had to do an activity which was uh, uh, small and big, which was grande and piconio, if I'm pronouncing it right. If he would have been here, he would have said, no, mom, it's not piconio, it's piconio. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm bad with it. So he had to like get all the, he had to get all the objects in the house, maybe like seven or eight, small and big and all get together, take a picture and upload to the class teacher. So that's something that he did. But we did something similar in the house. We were trying to look for living and non-living. We were trying to look for black and white. We were trying to uh, do all different sort of things just in Spanish. So, uh, but I would say I generally focus on all the subjects, but I do the languages maybe once or twice a day. And the other stuff that we do is a lot of coding. We do a lot of art in terms of sketching now. Vivan has started sketching. He doesn't do a lot of uh, free art projects, but he's always doing um, drawing. And uh, after many years, he has started drawing again this year. So I'm very, very thrilled that he's doing that. We are, uh, we are still doing our karate online and we are not doing our swimming. Our ski got finished. We were supposed to enroll Vivan for horse riding, but that's not happening right now. We are just in the house everybody's still in the house so guys if you think this video was very helpful to you and if you think now what do you need you you especially need a copy and pencil to write down the name of your child grade subjects what he's doing where do you want him to go and do write he's where he's strong his strength and where he has to work on and that's how you can make the chart but please be uh, just just uh, uh, don't get overwhelmed with this. If you get stuck anywhere, if you do not know what your child is doing, what grade he is, because I do have the grade syllabus for a lot of grades, for a lot of classes all over the world. So do let me know, just message me down below. I'm gonna find it for you and I'm gonna uh, leave your email address too. So like while you're saying, my name is this, my child is in this grade, this is my email address, can you email it to me? Or you can directly send an email to me at Sonali, S-O-N-A-L-I. Uh, Kapoor K A P O O R 8 at gmail.com. So, guys, if you really like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Do not forget to subscribe and press the bell icon because YouTube is coming and telling me that out of my 8,500 subscribers, there are almost uh, half of them who do not have the bell icon there. So don't forget today, once you finish watching this video, please press the bell icon. Thanks a lot, guys. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you have any suggestions, please drop it in the comment box below. Thank you so much, guys. Stay safe, everyone. Bye.